warning from police, the CHP is going to be cracking down on speeders this weekend. Starting today and through Sunday, officers are going to be looking to ticket speeders all across the state. And Crown Force Sarah Stinson is live at the Bay Bridge with the details. Good morning, Sarah. Where, of course, people are speeding as they normally do, just come coming barreling through the toll plaza. It always surprises me how fast people go through the toll plaza and just really in general across the Bay Area. You feel like if you're not going 80, you're going slow and you, but you don't want to get a ticket. It's this weird, weird feeling in the Bay Area. Well, you're going to want to slow it down. If you slow it down, your neighbor's going to slow down too and then everybody's going to be safer. And if you're going on a road trip, get this. California Highway Patrol is partnering with 11 other patrols, uh, highway patrols in other states in Colorado, Arizona, Montana, Idaho, just to name a few, Washington. So if you're going to go on a road trip this weekend, don't think if you get, you're out of state lines, you're good to go. Friday through Sunday, uh, California Highway Patrol and uh, 11 others are going to be looking out for those speeders. And the reason being is because in 2020, believe it or not, when everyone was supposed to be home, we actually saw a lot of people dying in speed related incidences. This was uh, actually a significant increase in California last year. More than 500 people were killed and more than 57,000 others were injured in crashes caused by unsafe speeds. So I can't believe it. I don't know, understand why people were speeding where they were going. People were supposed to be in a lockdown, but I don't know. CHP officers issued more than 28,000 speeding citations to motorists and all uh, they were going in. Some of them were going in in excess of 100 miles per hour. So that is very fast. You're going to want to slow it down. Not only could you get a ticket, you could hurt yourself or others. It's simply not worth it. Slow it down. You're going to get to where you're going no matter what. You know, sometimes you you pick up your speed thinking you're going to get somewhere safer and then you see someone next to you and they had been going slow. I mean, it's just the way of the traffic. And Darry James, I want to ask you if you've seen this because we've been driving the whole pandemic because we've been working the whole time. I think other people haven't and they seem anxious on the road. I'm seeing a lot of agitated drivers, a lot of people honking, especially in San Francisco. Have you guys seen this? Uh, I, I kind of have, actually. I felt like I've getting, well, maybe it's because I'm driving slower, but I'm getting passed much faster by people that are just a little more irritated on the roads. I don't know. Yeah, I, and I think we all forget that it's been a yeah, good been year a and a half or so, right, where the roads were so quiet. And now we've got more and now, people and... People yeah. are just annoyed that other people are on the road with them. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I also, exactly, drive, yeah. I also drive a Prius, which doesn't help. People love to pass me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, and I'm an old lady now, <laughs> and I drive like an old lady. So. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. <laughs> oh, man.